Is this the first time you work with uh, your producer, Jack Antonoff? Yeah, it is. Did you you knew him before? Obviously, everybody in music seems to know Jack. Uh, yeah, I I really didn't know him that well. I had met him eight years ago. Uh, I was, I think I was coming out of an elevator. He was going into the elevator at um, uh, Emil Haney's studio who helped produce my, my one of my, fir- my first album. You have okay. a lot of good memories. I have no... I, eight years ago, I couldn't tell you in a million years well, what happened. I didn't remember either until oh, okay. I met Jack again a year and a half ago and he's like, remember me and the guys from Fun. <laughs> okay. We all had our glasses on and we were like, hi, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> did you pretend to know or no, did you really I, remember? As soon as he said that, okay. I vividly remember like three, you know, like sweet guys with the glasses being like hi we love video games because anytime i've ever said that to anyone i know they're lying no i i i okay. did you right. did yeah. remember very and sweet he's um and i but i had never worked with him and i wasn't writing when i met him mm-hmm. and he was like if you have a day off tomorrow in new york you should just come down and let's see what we cook up and, um, and he kind of primed the pump a little bit Yes. Oh, definitely. He was He was like, I know I have good stuff for you, which no one ever says because I usually bring my stuff to them. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. We were, we've had him on the show a couple of times. And you have? We are so, yeah. And we mm-hmm. love, him. love him. We're so impressed with him. Just not I'm only, obviously as, a, with him. as an artist, as a songwriter, as a musician and as a producer, but just as a person, he just seems genuinely like so cool and I nice agree. and but with positive. All, but even with all those things being like Lana Del Rey doesn't come immediately to mind no. when you think no, of Jack. So what, what was it that he came to the table with that sort of got you over that sort of pop hump, I guess, that he's best known for or getting Grammys for? Well, I told him the same thing. I was like, I just, you know, because I very much do my own thing and Mm -hmm. I'm pretty casual in the studio. Like if if it works, it works. But um, he, I I guess the thing that was interesting was we went down to his studio and he played like a little progression of six chords and without being cheesy, I asked him, "Could I? Ha- can I? Ha- am I allowed to have those chords? They were so beautiful." So he was already in tune with you when you, when he started playing. If he wasn't in tune with me, he was just so talented chordally that I, it, it's, it's like I just knew that if he was going to let me have those chords, then I had literally just gotten so lucky. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Look, sometimes people just click, you know, cr- creatively, personally, whatever it is, and you know yeah. it when you're in the in, in, in the right place at the right time with the right person, for sure.